You don't know. Yeah, well, yeah. Hey, mate, you all right? Yeah. Just, uh, just looking at a football book. Oh, nice. Um, it's not old oh, kits and stuff. Yeah. Cool. Um, we've got like Mom. the whole gang in bed at the moment. <laughs> it is. What's the time? Is it seven thirty or something like that? Who's under here? Who's down there? Hey, you, Hapsi Lapsa, and then Hallie's under there as well. Um, Fifty-one minutes past seven. Fifty-one minutes past seven. Have we got any babies yet? No. no. Oh man. Oh man. All right. So before we get up, the best thing to do is tackle some of you lot's lovely comments. Um, we've got to get this done in the morning because once the day starts, it gets manic and hectic. So yeah, and thank you for all of these wonderful comments. Um, yeah, man, you lot are the best. <laughs> I think we got some of the most loyal um, subscribers and, you know, just support family i hate to say fans because fans just always feels a bit like oh uh, no i ain't we ain't really no one to be no fan of but um i appreciate the support and elephant and ella likewise so yeah thank you everyone for your many comments i am sieving through them right now you right, son yeah how long have you been here for not really. So what? What number are you on? Five hundred and two. Okay. <laughs> Not really that long, he says. <laughs> High standards or what? Nice one, son. Keep it going. Oh. What's good, guys? Um, it is Wednesday, the fourteenth of March, as we've said earlier. And today I have work again in the middle of the day. Uh, Hezzy has uh, football training in the evening and Hallie has some extra ballet because um, uh, she's got a show coming up. So um, she's got some extra practice uh, for ballet and that's this evening. So um, we're just about to have breakfast and um, yeah, stay with us through the whole day, man. Boom, have a good day. All right, so the Tesco's delivery has come. Finally, we got food in the house. Oh, it's time to take it to the kitchen. Big up Tesco's. All the help helps. Oh, Harper, thank you so much. Are you getting the shopping? Harper, you helping mommy with the shopping? Thank you. Good, and you're going to get some more. Oh, here comes Hosanna. Thank you, baby. Go on, put that. Oh, go on, use the muscles. The muscles. And she's still down there. Bless her. Good up. You could do it. We're going to bring down now. Oh, that's it. Put it. Oh, look what you're bringing the big water. <laughs> if you see what she's carrying, well done, Harps. Look, she's got two big bottles of water in there. Go on, Harps. <laughs> Go on, Harper. Take it. Oh! Well done. Hey, your puppet. You're right. Yeah. What are you doing? Just writing. Ah, cool. You're doing your writing practice. Yep. Can I see some? Is that all right? Yeah. Okay. Let me let me have a look. Ah, wow. It's not bad, is it? It's not bad at all. And you know what I like the most about it? Yeah. Oh, you do. Sorry. Ah! No, sorry. Uh, that's all right. Um, I like that you haven't made many mistakes. And you know why you haven't made many mistakes? I don't think you've actually made any. Or oh, you rubbed out one thing here. But um, do you know why you haven't? Because Be I was focusing. Because you're focusing. That's my girl. Have five. All right, baby. I'm going to let you get back to it. Love you. Yep. Ah! Oh! <laughs> you trouble butter messes. Look at all three of you. Beautiful, pretty, pretty, pretty girlies. <laughs> Hey, stop. <laughs> so yeah, basically at the moment, um, we're just in a limbo bit. Like the kids have done some of their schoolwork. However, I think mummy, oh, hello. I just got knocked by this one. Um, yeah, but mummy is just doing something in the bathroom. Um, I'm not quite sure. She, she seems like she's cleaning a bit, um, but yeah. And then we are gonna get back 
to some other schoolwork, I believe. Um, but Mummy just had to come up and get ready, as Mummy does too, because Mummy needs to get ready as well as everyone else. <laughs> so yeah, we will be um, reconvening with some schoolwork in a moment. Right, girlies? Yeah. Oh, here they all come. Oh, yes. Oh, this is the joys of having three beautiful baby girls. You always that. love Daddy. Yes, but I mean it. <laughs> so. I know, I'll eat off my head. <laughs> Son, your, your Moses basket, I was going to say your cot, your Moses basket awaits. There is no baby in there. It's so crazy that at the moment, no baby, but really soon there will be a baby. In three days, hopefully. Hopefully, well, hopefully tonight. <laughs> hopefully really soon. But yeah, who knows, eh? Who knows? Papa. So, guys. I've just finished watching um, a YouTube video by Roman Atwood and um, I, like, I can't say I was someone who followed his channel like majorly. I really like Casey Neistat and all them kind of people, um, Peter McKinnon and you know various people like that. There's also obviously family vloggers that are um, people like Jamie and Nikki and Adana and David and you know and it's, it's just weird because like a lot of you guys say that we um i like the best family on youtube i'm like that's such a crazy comment like and um it's lovely of you to say that it honestly is um and really and truly you know you guys are massive inspiration you know for us to do these kind of things and and before the subscribers came like the people on the street do you know what i mean the people on the street used to always say wow you've got such a you know friends and family then wider than that then you know like i say just people you just go into bromley and and people are stopping you saying wow your family's so beautiful and la 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 and um you guys are all massive inspiration to us but roman Atwood was just talking about finishing vlogging like he, he he's been doing daily vlogging for years um dude's got like you know millions of subscribers anyway i'm sure you guys out there know you know him already like um so but yeah it's just interesting hearing his his mindset on you know his head's just fried he's been doing it for a long time and um it's just interesting because I just thought, okay, some people would see this and then think, oh, well, it's not worth like us trying it out or whatnot. But I'm like totally the opposite. And, and me and Ella, um, Ella and the kids or whatever, have always been the type of people to love a challenge. Do you know what I mean? Um, if there's a challenge to be had, then the Grimwades are at it. Do you know what I mean? And um, it also, at the same time, I think it's one of those things where you just have to be in a place where um, if you have to stop it or you have to uh, take a different path for the betterment of your family, um, then that's what you've got to do. And you've got to be strong enough, headstrong enough to, to be able to do that. And we ain't never really watched no face or worried about what people say or, do you know what I mean? And, I, I, you know, I usually take it and kind of accredit it to the same kind of thing as like when you were in school right um there's the leaders and that they're only a handful and then there's the followers which are most of the people and um you had that you know popular kid or whatever but the reason he was popular was because he just did him do you know what i mean he wasn't swayed by this and swayed by that and whatever um and a lot of people miss the boat on you know kind of being popular or, or whatever because i've always found that being popular comes from doing you and then people see you doing you like so freely and they're like right how do they do that and it, it, it's intriguing whereas a lot of people try to follow in order to be relevant whereas in if you're following you're always one step behind so yeah um and so yeah, I, I actually took, you know, uh, Roman's video as, as kind of an inspiration, really. Like, you know, he's been doing it. He's run his race, like, and, and he's not saying he's quitting. He's saying he's he's just going to, he wants to do some other things and let him do what he wants, man. Do you know what I mean? Jeez. Um, like, I hope you don't get too much of that kind of hate and, oh, why are you stopping me? What's it called? Like, anyway... He's got three kids too, do you know what I mean? And, and and we've got four soon to be five. And we know that that's, you know, a stretch. So, yeah, man, but I'm just feeling mad inspired. Um, and I thank you guys for your encouragement of our channel. Um, I thank you for your comments about the children. I thank you for your comments about Ella and I. 
um i thank you just for your general support you guys are awesome we couldn't do it without you um and yeah man thanks for watching anyway it is about what's the time oh my phone's up here oh can i reach it yes uh the time is 12 58 so um i think it's about time i went and got some lunch and uh yeah we'll catch you in a little bit peace out Hey babe. Hi. How are you? How are you feeling? I'm fed up. You're fed up? Mm-hmm. Because he's taken ages. Ages, ages, ages. I know he's not due until Saturday, but still. It's long now. You're ready? Yes, very ready. And he's heavy. And I could go into the horrible details of everything that's happening to me, but I don't think you want to know, really. So... Well, not before lunch. No. Leftovers from yesterday. That's all good. I'm all good with that, homie. Mm. All right. Um, well, yeah, we're going to have some lunch. Don't worry, baby. You'll be all right. He'll be here soon. Hopefully so. And all Hopefully will be well. All right, girly girly. Yeah, I feel really dizzy and stuff, so... All right. Well, take it easy. Water, water, water. Mm. You know why Ella kind of, you know, <laughs> Ella gives me a joke. You know why Ella like kind of looks and kind of smiles at that and doesn't give an answer back? Because she's like, take it easy. What's that? Like, do I ever get a chance to take it easy? Which mothers the world over, we know you don't, but we love you for your efforts, so. And there we go. Who's that? Harper. Harper. Can you see yourself? You yeah. gotta say hi to the people. Hi guys. So, hi guys. Hi, 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 hi. <laughs> what are you doing, Harper? You gotta tell them. Look, pointing it at you. Look, what are you doing? Hair done. You got your hair done. Yeah. Oh, cool. And and what's this? Apple. Show, you gotta show them. You say, oh look, I got an apple. 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 Say bye bye. Bye-bye. So guys, we have come to sit down after um, lunch just to watch a programme about football or what have you. But it's quite annoying when you cannot rely on good customer service from companies. So we've made an order from a company called Jessup's. And um, basically, we ordered something about... It will be a month, so 28 days on Monday, and they guaranteed us that we would get our item within 28 days. We've been like calling them up every like 28 days maximum, but they said to us it should be in within the next couple of weeks when we first ordered it. We've been calling up the store closest to where we live and been asking, Oh, is it in yet? Is it in yet? Oh, no, sorry, it's not in, it's not in, it's not in. So today is now what's today? Wednesday, and 28 days will be Monday and now they've also just told me that their store is closing for two weeks on Friday so come Friday they will not be contactable at store so I'm like okay so where's our order you need to get our order in and this is the only reason why the people at the store have started chasing it up because we've been on them which is just annoying just do your job without us having to keep calling you and calling you all the time because that's not what I signed up for I didn't give you my money to then have to chase my item, you should just stick to what you're saying. That's what you should do in the first place. It's just so frustrating. And it just takes time out of my day where I've planned to do other stuff because I'm having to make you do your job. That's not good customer service. I'm just, it's just ridiculous. It's so frustrating. So now I've been like, okay, I've been told that the item's gonna be in um, the where is gonna be in the warehouse on Saturday or something, and they'll ship it out to us to arrive to us by Wednesday and I'm like okay I can see what's gonna happen here I'm gonna wait till Wednesday not receive my item and then have nobody to contact so the lady's giving me the customer services number but I'm just like this is not good enough you've had a whole month and what you're basically telling me is that the item is still with the original um was it not wholesale or whatever you call it the original company they haven't even sent it yet what have you been doing for four weeks it's just really poor customer services. So these are the kind of things that are not helpful to a pregnant mummy with four children, with a fifth one on the way, who has stuff to do in her day, not making you do your jobs correctly. Jessup's do better. 
Okay guys, I'm gonna go to work now. See you later. Bye bye baby. Alright, love you. Oh. And you, my darling. Um, 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 oh, this one. Um, I remember we tied two two with Palmeiras and we had a bad match. I tried to this leave. is the only thing about being black and white. The you can't go. kiss the up, kiss up all the time I because of the makeup thing. It don't work with my skin tone. And then comes across. Alright, we are finally making it out of the house. Um, nine minutes to spare till we need to meet daddy. Tim's going to take Hezzy to football tonight. See everybody there. Hi, Hazana. Hi. So Tim's going to take Hezzy to football tonight. So he's going to meet us outside of um, Hallie's dance. So it's really quite bright. And um, yeah, Hallie, you ready for dance? The big girl one that you like? Yes. Oh. A smile on her face. So we are off. See you in a moment. Hi. Hi. So I'm not going to see you till after dance now, am I? No. Well, after training, sorry. Have a good one. I will. High fives, mummy. <laughs> Alright then, love you. Love you. Mwah. Did I put lipstick on your face? <laughs> hey guys, and I'm back. Um, I've just finished work and I've come to pick up this big head. Um, and now, where are we going, Hans? Chelsea! We're going to training. So, um, yeah. Cool, we'll catch you in a hot minute. Bye-bye. Ah. Okay guys, so we are here at training. Hezzy, what we gotta do? Go work hard and enjoy myself. There you go, mate. Well, I'll see you after, mate. Have a yeah. good one. Love oh, you. Bye. Bye. Nice. Yes guys, so I have just got back, it is now, I don't even know what the time is, what is the time? It's tired o'clock, that's what it is. Um, it's 8.42 um, and I'm done. <laughs> I'm just about to get some food. Um, all the children are in bed, apart from Hezzy, obviously we just come through the door, he's going to just go and get ready for bed. Um, and yeah, and then I'm going to spend a little time with Ella. So, if you have enjoyed today's vlog, then please, please, please smash that like button. And if you haven't already done so, and you liked what you've seen, then please subscribe to our channel. Uh, it will be much appreciated. And also, if you don't have the notifications turned on and you're already subscribed, or if you just subscribe, please turn them on so you know when we've uploaded a new video. Daily vlog. Number three, over and out. God bless. So you think you were right? Mm -hmm. Bring it up, bring it up, prove me.